Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is December 7th and I'm here start off this morning with cutting tags off the activity tags for when the heifers are in heat. Um, I'm not really sure which pail to put this in. Anyway, but I'm also here and I have a new GoPro. So to the unknown fan that sent that, thank you very much. It's very generous of you along with the new with a drone case for my drone. That is my, very much appreciated. Uh, didn't have to do that whatsoever. But, you know, to turn down a gift would be kind of rude. So, thank you. And in case you guys can't tell, it's pretty foggy here this morning. Uh, to come off these tags here, we actually lock the headlocks. It'll make it easy for us to cut the tags off. Then me and my dad are going to move them. And, uh... Yeah. You would think they'd be hungry. Yeah, they're fat. They, uh, they're not. They're not underprivileged. That's for sure. They've been eating good. Yeah, but like I said, it is very foggy here. You can't. I can't see the. I can barely see the bunk there. Our bunks are down there. Um. We got a good bit caught here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Pops is coming down with the cattle trailer. Move 10 and 11 at a time. Uno, dos, hey, 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 come back out for me, or go that way, you know, or going to the next stall over, so, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, can't count, six, seven, eight, Demoing started here in the 93 cal barn. We're doing it in quarter sections. Uh, as you can tell, they took out the curb, cleaning out the rubble. They'll be getting ready to pour new concrete, new curb. Took fans out. Now he's gonna kind of utilize some of the old wire there. Or it doesn't really matter. Nah, we'll try to put new stuff in. Oh. Cut, cut that off. What's that? Know, should we cut this off so you can pull these slats out the other one too? I know, I see what you're saying. And then the new wire we just... just you're pulling the curb and the floor all in one shot? No. Oh. 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 And then the curb. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That might be the. Otherwise, they'll want to go together if we ever have to replace the floor. Yeah, that sort of seems like it'd be good. So yes, obviously it's been some time since I recorded. Um, heifers are moved up in there, and where our group five used to be, which is our bed pack group, now it's heifers. Uh, quarter of that barn. I don't know if I said this right. Is dry cows. Down here, we got two cow groups, our hospital group, 
and we're doing just in time calving now so uh this is group two i do believe and then that's group group 10 which is our last group really we call it group 10 but now everything's changed if you would rename the groups that would be group five just in a way we Yo, calm down. Just the way we ordered it, <laughs> how everything's ordered. Because um, group one is in the heifer barn there. So with just in time calving, we'll move. I'm pretty sure if we see hooves, you know, coming out, that means, hey, let's move them over. We'll move them over here into our maternity. And other cows are in there. It's our hospital group, whether they are somewhat lame from yeah being lame or maybe they're being sold so that's just a way of keeping me out of the other cow groups and then, uh yeah we've got some stuff going on here i'm not sure how if we're replacing any of these gates at all it's probably not a big deal considering we only use it to get that cow group there uh we're gonna be probably redoing some neck rail for the feed area. A lot of miscellaneous gates laying around. This is why it's nice to this expansion. It's just, it just gives us more room to work with and kind of update the style of how things roll around here, I guess you could say. So we don't need as many miscellaneous gates laying around. Um, they do come in handy though at times. As you can tell, this. Uh, Walk, cow, cattle walk here it's been definitely used especially when we're grabbing the cows the whole way up from the uh, 93 cow barn and bringing them down I thought it stopped recording there for a second but anyway here's our group one this is the second half of group one that they have here out and more junk laying around when all this construction's all said and done man we're gonna come through and clean this junk up but I'm very uh and I like stuff neat and in order so stuff like that really bothers me but you know I gotta realize it's construction stuff so once everything's moved out then that's when cleanup starts so these cows are already milked so yeah that's group one over there that cow barn was group two over here is group three, then four on the other side. Hop up in here. Hey ladies. So uh, there's the second half of group one. Our sort gate still is yet to be working. So uh, someone gets the fun job of going through every single cow. So they're working on breeding. And the next group we get will be, oh, group three, or group two. We get group two, then group three. It's numbered for a reason, Ashland. So this was kind of a learning curve with the crowd gate. Uh, we have it programmed to move up for eight seconds, every like six stalls or something. Or is it eight stalls and eight to 10 seconds? I don't know, but I think you can change it. Uh, which makes it very nice. You don't have to have someone manning the crowd gate. Uh, there's still someone right there making sure the cows feed into the parlor. But other than that, no one has to be standing in here making sure they go in. He's just kind of standing there to grab the group when it's done and make sure the cows back off the rotary. So the first thing you notice, this is a lot quieter in here compared to the other parlor that we had. The milkers are a lot quieter. the uh, industrial dryer there's my hand for uh <laughs> just to show how big it is there's the washing machine that's nice that's ran off of propane by the way and actually most of the noise is in here but a lot of it's concealed So 
So after some time, we will get this black top out here. Right now, they're just doing millings. And yes, this is a lot smoother to drive on than what it used to be. Yeah, so the downside is just in time, Kevin. I mean, you constantly, I was just talking to our one employee there. Uh, he said every 20 minutes he's coming back here to make sure there's no calves or cows that are going to get birth or heifers for that matter. Well, since we're moving out of the transition barn, I best scrape the transition barn. I don't really feel like uh, getting crap. Me or my dad getting crap all over ourselves. All right, time to scrape out the barn you've never seen me scrape before. First time on the channel, definitely first time. There we go, I spiced it up. You guys have a new angle now. We're doing the same thing as yesterday, but you know, we're doing it right this time. We accidentally re removed some of the wrong animals yesterday. It's not that huge of a deal because they're they're younger, but even though there's mixed numbers, like there's 29s over here, like there's a 29, 28 there. I bet I could find a 29 over here somewhere. As I'm searching for it, I don't find one. But there's high 28s there. Uh, point being, they're all mixed together. Uh, yeah. Whether one was kind of held back because when she was younger, she didn't just grow as much or what. But anyway, we're supposed to move this side, but it was kind of a uh, oopsie on both our parts. My dad set the headlocks and I just kind of forgot. So it was, a, it was a joined effort in messing that up. But. I have uh, my dad locked these up and we caught a good bit now. I'm gonna loosen these up here. Then I can catch a couple more ladies and I'll be cutting their tags. And uh, we'll do it right this time. Since we caught so many, uh, we are, we just let them, well, we cut the tags, let them go. And this, since this is a couple loads worth here, we're just going to leave them over there and get them later and pull these out a while. Now we're putting heifers in a Route 5 pill. All right. Neck rail from the feed area is way too high. Seems like we're beginning to heifer out once a day at least. Load numero dos. Now the heifers get to move up in life. That guy 
Yeah, the freestyle messy. I don't want to leave. No. Come on. Nap over there. That's all you guys ever do. All you guys do is eat and sleep. Look at her foot wipes. Our farm mat. Yeah, our boot washing station. Now we're getting a pen out of the barn that you never see me scrape in the videos. Yeah, no sarcasm in my videos either. <laughs> is it the, it's not the end pen, is it? Is it the end pen? Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, don't mind the half route that's out over there. It's going to become a daily thing here for probably a little bit. Until we get or we lower that neck rail. There we go. Now it's from the weaning barn to the transition barn. My dad took the load from the transition barn to the new uh, heifer barn. My dad's gonna go unload the load of heifers there. I'm gonna grab the tractor and spreader and clean out those two pens and then we're gonna get to moving the calves. Heifer shuffle. Oops, that was already taken. Uh, bovine shuffle yeah there we go that's better all right i always wanted to try this you guys seen me clean this out before so here we go These are uh, all good and healthy. There's only four in this pen because there's six more would be moving from there. They're still a little young yet, so we're gonna give them time to grow. Now I gotta clean out hutches. Just one big long process of moving. Time to uh, grab the long I-beam thingamajig with a thingamajig piece of metal on the end and clean out the calves with the thingamajig. All right, let's do this. Whoop, whoop. All right, after my uh, delicious lunch, I'm back. I'm going to bed up these hutches. The Wacker nuisance is being used right now by the construction workers, so I'm going to use this skiddy. Clean off these hydraulic connect areas. A couple of points, I guess you want to call it. It's not good to have dirt in there. But, yeah, all right, ready to rock and roll. Scatter shavings. I'm going to have to make an important phone call here real quick. Do you want to go hunting after school? All right, well, I'm going to pick you up to help feed. All right. To help feed, me, Mitch, and you, well, we all want to go hunting, so we're going to, you know, power through feeding, all right? All right. Let's do this. Here, look down. There you go. All right. to bring out calves the calf whip all right Common sense. 
right, guys, this is gonna bring the video to an end here. I gotta get to feeding and I'm on time crunch, you know, I'm going hunting. Yeah. Uh, when I feed the weaning bar in here, I'm gonna go through and check for respiratory. So I'm gonna go down and grab some medicine, medication. And uh, on the way there, I'll show you guys the 93 barn and the progress that they're making on that there. And then that's gonna be all for today. This should be a decent length uh, video to uh, make up for my last video. So, videos. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now and God bless.